Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing five of my go-to at-home lunches. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Monday. Now, on Mondays, we normally do... PB&J Day. PB&J, that's right. But today, I made it a little bit different. I actually made a peanut butter banana roll-up. I just took a regular tortilla, spread some creamy peanut butter all over it, and then I just rolled a banana up in the tortilla, and then sliced it. Now, if you're looking for a treat, you can try this with Nutella instead of peanut butter. That is really good. Now, to go along with that, I'm also serving a carrot salad, but this is basically just a spiralized carrot. So I just took my carrot and used my little spiralizer to make sort of like noodles, like carrot noodles, and then I just put some ranch on there. Over here, I have some turkey pepperoni that I put on a really cute little pick just to make it fun. And then we have some red grapes, a berry lemonade, and a string cheese. So, really fun today. I hope the kids like it. Does it look good, Kenzie? Yeah. All right, here you go. Thanks. Okay, here's how they did. Overall, pretty good, although I did have to convince them to eat their carrots. They were not big fans of the carrots. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was yummy. It was yummy. What was your favorite part? I like the banana roll. The banana roll-ups were tasty. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I just finished making the kids lunch, so here it is. Today we're having some popcorn chicken. These are just the ones that I get from Costco. The kids really like them. You guys like them? Yeah. Yeah? Should I put some ketchup on here though? Yeah, you probably I, should. I forgot the ketchup. But with the chicken, <laughs> I'm also serving some grapes. I have some really large red grapes. And then over here, I have a good amount of sugar snap peas. I'm really gonna try to increase the vegetables this week. Are you guys excited about that? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Oh, good. So I want you to eat all your snap peas. Okay. And then these guys. Kenzie, do you know what these are? Yeah. Have you, you haven't had these in a while. These are actually dried mango pieces. So it's kind of like nature's fruit snack. Now to go along with our chicken, I did make some homemade ranch and I added extra dill this time, so it should be really tasty. And that is it, that's everything. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah! Okay, here's Kenzie's, oh, here's you. Lily's, Jack. Which time? Okay guys, we'll show you what they eat when they're done. Okay, here's how they did. Overall, I think they did really well today. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? I loved the chicken. The chicken nuggets were good? Yeah. Yeah, but Jackson left a few of his snap peas and a tiny piece of his chicken in there. But you ate everything and so did Lily, which is amazing. I also love the grapes. The grapes were good? Yeah. Now, you guys got extra time today since we're at home, so I think that really helps give you enough time to finish everything. See you guys tomorrow. That's right. Now, today I have some really cute corn dog mini muffins. So I started by throwing together a really easy cornbread recipe and then I took some leftover hot dogs and sliced them up. Now the trick to making these is you definitely want to use a mini muffin pan and you want to spray it generously with some nonstick spray, otherwise these guys are not going to come out very well. So I put my hot dog in there, cover it with cornbread mixture and stick it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now the trick to getting these out of the pan is I like to take a spoon and go around the mini muffin before I pop it out. And then usually it'll come out really nicely. You could also make a huge batch of these and stick some of them in the freezer for the future. These reheat beautifully in the toaster oven. Now to go along with our mini corn dog muffins today, I'm also serving some ketchup because I feel like you have to have ketchup with mini corn dogs. And I'm also serving some steamed broccoli, which I've just put a little bit of Parmesan <laughs> cheese on top I think the kids will really enjoy it that way. And then I also have a little cutie. And over here I have a half of a granola bar. And these are actually the new gingerbread Christmas edition granola bars. So I know the kids are gonna love those. Okay guys, it's ready. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, eat it all gone. Okay, here's how they did. Now I have Jackson with me. Jackson, what did you think? It was good. What was your favorite part? the little corn dog muffins. So Kenzie ate everything and you ate everything except for a teeny little bite of broccoli and Lily left a few things. She liked to peel the cornbread off of her hot dog and she left one little piece of broccoli. So overall, not too bad. Now we are eating lunch at home today just as normal and I have something really fun that the kids definitely like and it's this yakisoba, which is like a Japanese style noodle 
and I actually get these at Costco and they're frozen. So all I have to do is stick them in a bowl and then put them in the microwave for about three minutes. So we have some noodles in there, there's a yummy sauce and some vegetables. We have peppers, carrots, broccoli, peas, all kinds of good stuff. Now I am giving the kids their chopsticks today so they can give that a try. Now to go along with this, I have some cheese, which seems pretty random, I know, but we had some sliced cheese left over from Lily's birthday, so I wanted to use it up, and this is actually Gouda. Now I am serving a treat today. We have these little fruit snacks, and these are also left over from Halloween. We actually gave these out as trick-or-treat candy this year, and so we have a few left over. And then I have some orange smiles. Love orange smiles, and these are really tasty uh, navel oranges. And then I have a salad, a nice big salad. We have some carrots in there. And With some, my favorite croutons. Yeah, these are uh, Texas toast butter and garlic croutons. They are super good. And I just get these at Winco, but you can probably find them at most grocery stores. So all I have to do now is put the salad dressing on and then these guys can dig in. So I have two choices today. I have the deep roasted sesame or I have my homemade ranch. What would you like me to do? Homemade ranch. Homemade ranch. Everybody wants ranch? Yep. All right, let's put some ranch on there. Now, did you guys know that you can eat salad with chopsticks? No. Yeah, when I when I lived in Japan, that's how we ate salad. We ate it with chopsticks. So give it a try. Okay. If you don't like it, we can use forks. Okay. All right, so there you go, Mackenzie. Thanks. There's Jackson's. Don't drop it. And here's Lily's. Okay, here's what we're left with. What do you think, Lily? Good. Did you really like the noodles? Yeah. Were they good, Kenzie? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The gummies. The gummies? I see you ate all your vegetables, so that's really good. Except for Lily, you didn't eat all your salad. Because I didn't have like food. Okay, but she did ask me for more oranges. So do you see how many oranges she ate? You really liked those oranges, didn't you? Yeah, so overall pretty good today. See you guys tomorrow. So here's what we're having today. And as you can tell, the three kids pretty much have the same stuff. So today we have some steamed broccoli. This just has a little bit of butter, salt and pepper on there. And then each kid has their own Activia yogurt. And then we also have some watermelon stars. Now it's not, it's definitely not necessary to cut your watermelon fancy, but the kids are always wanting to help me in the kitchen. And since we're at home today, it's a perfect project for them to help with because my cutters are not sharp. They're totally safe for the kids to help. And you guys, with what's left over, most likely I will eat this. And this is actually really good too if you take the excess watermelon and you um, blend it up and put it into lemonade. That's really good too. So this will not go to waste at all. So also, I made some grilled ham and cheese sandwiches and I used my little sandwich maker. Those things are awesome. Um, and so right now the kids just have three little triangles. I have a couple extra just in case they want more. But basically we just have ham and cheese in there, a little bit of mayonnaise and some mustard. But I'll show you how I made those. Okay, so to make these sandwiches, I'm just gonna take some bread. This is whole wheat bread. And I'm gonna put a very thin layer of mayonnaise on there. It just helps the sandwich not end up being dry. And I'm just gonna take a piece of honey ham and a slice of cheddar cheese. Get that paper off of there. Now some of my kids like mustard and some of them don't. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of mustard and spread that out. Top it with another piece of bread and then I'm gonna load these into my little sandwich press. And this can do two at once, which is really great. And this thing is plugged in, it's nice and hot. I found this on Amazon, if you're curious, I'll link it down below. And I'm just gonna close it up. And when the green light comes on, it's done. I'm gonna to try to very carefully remove these without burning myself. Okay. And lastly, for a little treat, each kid has their own little pumpkin Jojo cookie. Now these are just like Oreos, but I think they're much better. These come from Trader Joe's and these are a seasonal treat. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve these up and then I'll show you what we end up with. Okay guys, we are now finished with lunch and this is what the kids left behind. Overall, they did pretty well. I do notice quite a lot of broccoli still left here. Uh, I noticed that when I serve broccoli with ranch, they seem to eat it a lot better. So maybe I'll have to serve it with ranch next time. Here's Mackenzie's. 
She ate all of her broccoli, which is awesome. She ate all of her watermelon, her cookie is gone, and all of her sandwiches. She does have a little bit of yogurt left, well, maybe about half of yogurt left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this spoon off or out. I'll put some plastic wrap on top and stick it back in the fridge and she can have it around three o'clock when she's claiming she's hungry again. And then for Lily, she actually didn't eat her yogurt at all and it's not open, so I'll go ahead and stick that back in the fridge as well. She left quite a bit of broccoli. She did eat her watermelon. She said the watermelon was her favorite. Um, she ate most of her sandwich. I can tell there's a little bit of crust still here. These ones did get a little bit extra crispy, which she's not a fan of. So next time maybe I will take the sandwiches out sooner. Um, and then she has a bit of her cookie left. I'm not quite sure. But she has kind of a, a small tummy, so she doesn't normally eat very much. And then for Jackson, he left some of his broccoli. And you know, I could actually take this broccoli and just stick it in a little container and um, put it back in the fridge for later. Um, I might do that. But he ate all of his watermelon. He ate the most yogurt out of everybody, almost the entire thing, or pretty much the whole thing. He really, he really liked the sandwiches, and next time I'm gonna put maybe some pesto in the sandwiches. That would be really good. And then he ate his cookie as well. So overall, pretty good today. Okay friends, if you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.